basketball on ESPN Plus as the Red Foxes play their first game of 2020 as they host the Bobcats of Winnipeg University in a MAC conference game from here at the McCann Arena in the Kipsy, New York Conference. Hey, Rich Kelly is just a tremendous player for the Bobcats. He averages 17.1 points per game. That's first in the MAC. You see his range. He really has unlimited range. He can go off the bounce. Really good going to the goal. Four games. They're starting lineup. There's Kelly, the leading scorer in the Max 17 game, along with Tyrese Williams. He's a local native out of Beacon, New York. Ragoni, 66 three pointers made this year. McGuire gets a surprise start. He's a freshman out of Mineola, and Kevin Marfo leads the nation in rebounding for the Red Team of 2020 for the Foxes, as well as Quinnipiac. In fact, Quinnipiac has played in 13 days. There's Sagal getting another one off. He tried to draw the foul from Kelly, the outlet for Kelly. In traffic, and he put it home. That's just a great individual effort there uh, from Kelly. He can beat you in a lot of different ways. Took the contact. He's going to line for a possible conventional three-point play. Here it is again on the replay. Just a really nice move there. There was not a lot of contact, a little there with the body. But uh, once again, Kelly's about ready to toe the line for the Bobcats. So Kelly, a very good free throw shooter. You see the career numbers at 80%. And he put that one in. Over his career, he's averaged about 16 and a half points a game against the Foxes. He's only lost once in four opportunities. Right, of course, he exploded for 40 a couple of years ago against Paris. An unbelievable performance. There's Cubby squaring up. That's his game. He is some confidence from that point forward. Yeah, no question about it. Once again, Quinnipiac gets another offensive rebound, and they turn it into points as Kelly buries the three ball. The Foxes must do a better job blocking out this very active Bobcat team. And these are long rebounds coming off the iron. And if given room, he'll shoot that right from that spot. But Kenny... And now Harasmi steps into the three. That was a four shot. So Harasmi's had to put two on the iron that he didn't really want to shoot. Yeah, just not a good offensive sequence there by the Foxes. And with the shot clock winding down, there was only two seconds left. So Harasmi must have said something. And Kelly is at the line to shoot a technical foul. Yeah, they called the technical foul on her asked me for uh, saying something as uh, Kelly knocks down the free throw. I believe harassed me thought he was interfered with on the shot. It may have been fouled. And again, I'm just surmising that. So John Dunn not happy, obviously, with the call going against his player because that counts as a personal foul. Absolutely. And the possession goes to put it back. It was going to go to them anyway as they retrieved the rebound. But it's 17-15 now. Fox is just by the deuce. When Kelly back at the point, Falzone joins him, Pinkney, Ballon, and McGuire. This will be a 30-second timeout. So Don obviously not happy with the way they're getting attacked on the glass. Take a second look at it here. Really good crossover there by Kelly. Really shows his vision. Really nice ball movement here uh, by Quinnipiac making the extra pass. But once again, Foxes do not block out and allow that foot back. Have to clean it up. Tried to go through the double. And just force that uh, turnover there, Maris. Kelly, one of the top players on back preseason, first team choice. Last year he was on the second team when he averaged 13 a game. Ragoni leaving it for Kelly from the corner. Uh, that's just great two-man basketball there. Ragoni to Kelly, who buried it from distance. So Ragoni for Kelly, and the Red Fox is now down by two on the matching deuce by Bell. Xfinity X. Rich Kelly has been unbelievable for Quinnipiac over his short career. He's a junior from Shelton, Connecticut. He almost came to Maris. He got it down to Maris and Quinnipiac and decided to stay in state. 